Here we have uh, traffic light state. Here is the data definition for traffic light state. Here is the template, just like I had on the previous slide. Okay, and now here's my problem. Okay, the problem is I want to write a function called next state that produces the TL state that follows the given TL state. All right, given a TL state, I want to produce the next one. So next state of red is green, next state of yellow is red, next state of green is yellow. Okay, and our strategy will be structural decomposition on TL state. Okay, so let's do that following the recipe. So what I'm going to do, get this guy out of the way. I'm going to take the template, copy it down, I'm going to uncomment it by clicking over here on Racket and saying uncomment. I'm going to put in the right function name, which is next state. Okay. I have to finish the contract here, right? Well, I already have the contract. It's T. I know that this produces a TL state. Okay, so now I have to fill. All I have to do is fill in the blanks. What should I fill in for this blank? Green, right? Because next state of red should be green. What should I fill in for this blank? Red. String red. What should I fill in for this blank? Yellow. String yellow. Okay. And here are my tests waiting to run. Ta-da! Okay. So now, the one set of tests that I ran were fine, okay, which were next state. Let's try the next one. Let's do this exercise again. Practice makes perfect. So we're going to go up. We're going to pick up the template. Copy it down here for previous state. Don't need that. We already have contract and purpose statement. We uncomment it by saying racket uncomment. The name of our function is previous state. Okay. Now we're ready to roll. All we have to do is fill in the blanks. Okay. What is previous state of red? String yellow. How do I know that? Because I read it off the examples. Okay. What is previous state of yellow? string green. What is previous state of green? Red. Okay, yeah. Yeah, even I find this boring. Okay? Notice, by the way, right, that when I filled in the blanks, it was the same three questions. Okay? So one of the things that that's interesting about templates is that um, we have 
there will be one question associated with each of those blanks, and it will be the same question no matter what function you are defining.